Hey everybody, it's Bob with RB Innovations. In today's video, we're gonna to talk to you about our Nitro Supercharger products. We're gonna give you the inside and out of our product. As well, we're gonna take on all the ongoing debate that's been happening over the past 12 years we produced the product. There's a lot of debate out there whether superchargers will work or won't work on a two-stroke nitro engine. It's been debated on YouTube as well as a lot of forums. And first off, we wanna thank all of our fans and loyal customers for passing out the correct information about our products. So we've seen a lot of things about our products. Most of all, the guy that's blown in the intake, seeing it come out of the exhaust, as well as another guy talking about quantum exhaust physics. We're here, we're gonna set the record straight, show you exactly how our product works. We're gonna take you step by step right through the engine process. So let's get into the basics of the two-stroke engine. Two-stroke engine, most critical feature is the scavenging characteristics. What that is, is the process of clearing the used charge out of the cylinder. That means when the piston goes up and down, creates a positive pressure out the exhaust and a negative pressure coming in from the intake. That helps bring in the fresh charge, getting it ready for the next combustion cycle. So now let's get into our nitro supercharger systems. These systems are belt driven right off the engine's crankshaft. And what they're gonna do is force additional air and fuel right into the intake of the engine, giving you increased efficiency as well as horsepower. So let's take you through the air fuel path all the way through the engine. So the air is drawn in through the high flow intake manifold, drawn right into the center of the turbo impeller. From there, it's forced out of the bottom of the supercharger into the carburetor. Now inside the carburetor, we've got the needle jet and that's where the fuel atomization happens. And what that is, when the supercharger forces the air over top of the needle, you get a smaller particle, better atomized fuel going into the bottom of the engine. And that's critical for combustion. Once that crankshaft port opens, the supercharger forces that air fuel mixture into the bottom of the crankcase. This is packed in much tighter than a normally aspirated engine. There's two things that happen in this next phase. The previous air fuel charge is detonated in the cylinder. That causes the piston to come down, the exhaust port opens, the exhaust is expelled out of the exhaust port, as well as a sonic pulse, which is very critical. That's gonna travel down the exhaust and start to return. So remember that, we're gonna come back to that later on. While that's happening, the piston's traveling further down the cylinder, pressurizing that crankcase, that fresh fuel air charge that we've got in the bottom end. As the piston comes down further, the intake port opens, allowing that high pressure of fuel air mixture into the combustion chamber. At this stage, some of that fresh charge does go out through the exhaust, only to be returned by that sonic pulse that comes back down the exhaust pipe. And that's the most critical part that all of these debates online just don't get into any detail. That's exactly how it works. Any two-stroke engine, most critical factor is the exhaust and the port timing. After detonation, the piston comes down, opening that exhaust port, letting that sonic pulse as well as the exhaust out, and the cycle continues on and on. So to summarize, our supercharger is gonna pack more fuel and air into the engine, increasing the efficiency, as well as it's gonna increase your exhaust pressure, which is gonna pump more fuel to the engine. Let me answer a lot of the common questions that we get about our supercharger products. The first one is, is it easy to install? And we do have some YouTube videos showing exactly how to install the product, all the ins and outs of doing that, as well as with the product, you get a full assembly guide as well. Always feel free, give us a call and we can talk you through any questions or concerns you might have during the install. Second question we get, is, is the engine, once you put the supercharger on, easy to tune? And most of the time, it's real easy to tune. The most important thing is you need a temperature monitor or a temperature gun. So you wanna make sure to use that temperature gun to dial in the engine exactly to the manufacturer's temperature specs. If it's running too hot, you wanna shut it off, go through all the details that we give you in order to troubleshoot exactly what the problem is. With the tuning, you wanna make sure to use the auxiliary pressure system. In some cases, the exhaust pipes don't provide enough back pressure to pump enough fuel. The auxiliary system captures part of the pressure from the supercharger to boost up your fuel pressure. And that, in some cases, will deliver a higher 
more consistent fuel delivery to the engine, bringing those temperatures down. Another common question we get is, are the air intake and the exhaust port open at the same time? And the simple answer is yes. Most of the debates you'll find online don't address the exhaust issue. The exhaust sonic pulse returning down the pipe, pushing that fresh air fuel charge back into the cylinder. And again, that's the most important part that a lot of people don't address. Another common question we get is when the crankshaft port is closed and the supercharger's building pressure, is that bad for the engine? The answer is no. The supercharger is building a pressurized fuel air mixture right above that valve. Once that valve opens, it doesn't have to rely on the engine negative pressure to suck it in. The supercharger forces that right into the bottom end of the engine. The reason for the ongoing debate typically comes down to three things. The first one is typically people don't understand fully how the product works and functions. We tried to address this in this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us, call us. We will certainly answer any questions you might have. The second thing is people don't understand how to install it properly. We made this video, how to install it, and we go through in detail exactly how to do that. The third thing is tuning. People typically don't know how to tune the engine properly, and we go into great detail in this video. Check it out, and if you, again, if you have any questions, email us, call us. We'll have one of our technicians go through it in detail with you. We've been building these nitro superchargers for over 10 years now. We continue to get calls for parts and accessories for parts we built many years ago. Going forward, we're going to continue to innovate and offer you products that's going to push your RC car to the limit. Maximum horsepower, and that's what we're all about. Thanks for watching.